Since the beginning of the Expo 2020, we put uh, we spent about like uh, three months putting the plans of construction and logistics and uh, our target completion date for the major buildings for the Expo uh, was October 2019. And we went through that plan and uh, most of the construction was completed by October 2019. The three thematic districts were completed, the entire infrastructure were completed, the uh, arrival plazas also were completed and uh, in early of uh, 2020, Al Wasal Plaza was uh, commissioned by His Highness Sheikh uh, Mohammed bin Rashid and His Highness Sheikh uh, Mohammed bin Zayed as well. And uh, of course, like uh, going towards April, May time, this is when uh, we started feeling the pain and the pressure of COVID-19 across the world. And uh, as a result of that, uh, the organizing committee of, of uh, expos across the world, the BIE, uh, together with the countries voted to postpone the event uh, by one year to October 1st, uh, 2021. Since then, we tried to look at uh, our delivery strategy and how we can benefit from this delay uh, to the benefit of uh, the event itself and for the countries. So we looked at our delivery strategy and uh, we uh, worked uh, closely also with the countries to deliver their own pavilions. Uh, we uh, went, uh, we kept actually as a, an organized an, as an organization to complete uh, our deliverables by October 2020 uh, because we were like just like not too far from the completion. So it didn't make sense actually to delay the uh our deliverables uh of course like we paid close attention to the safety of the staff and the workers on site uh, we established our own uh, testing facility uh to we tested all of the workers on site uh, we have we already have had uh, our uh, clinic on site and uh, of course like to take care of the workers we keep uh, periodically checking the uh, and testing the workers uh, on site and on their own camps to ensure like they are healthy and to help management of uh, any positive cases. Uh, at the beginning, we faced difficulties, of course, like to find the right protocol on how to deal with the uh, cases until we worked, we established a very uh, efficient process uh, to deal with any positive cases in organization with the, in, in, uh, in collaboration with the authorities and the Ministry of Health and Department of uh, Health. Uh, for the countries, uh, we are expecting the completion of their uh, pavilions uh, uh, by the like towards like the middle of this year uh, with full exhibitions uh, with all the exhibitions uh, and the content inside their own pavilions. As a matter of fact, some uh, countries have reached to <coughs> a full completion of their pavilions, like Saudi Arabia, they completed their buildings and their contents and all of the external works as well. We have also Norway completed their building. Finland, they also completed their building. Uh, Egypt, uh, uh, USA as well. Uh, they will continue working on their contents and exhibitions uh, in order to uh, have it fully ready uh, closer to the event time. For uh, any political reasons, some political reasons, some of the countries they pulled out, especially after signing the peace agreement with Israel, uh, some of the countries, and we still, but we still hope that the countries will, we still have enough time until the opening, uh, and we are still hoping that the countries will be part of, all the world uh, will be part of this expo. Uh, as far as the remaining countries, everybody remain committed from the countries to be part of uh, this uh, international event. So today is uh, remarks like a very, very important day. Like uh, it's like uh, opening uh, Terra, the sustainability pavilion. Uh, we wanted to have uh, this opportunity for UAE population from locals and residents who has been really our partners since day one. And through the journey uh, of the uh, preparation for this international event to be part of uh, the completion of this building, important building, and also to get a taste of uh, how the bigger event in October 
this year will feel like uh, today, like uh, it's an important milestone, opening this pavilion, and uh, so everybody, it's amazing to see everybody enjoying the place and really uh, impressed by the work that has been done by the entire team of Expo. The, our next milestones, like uh, will be in the coming uh, few months, we uh, Alpha uh, Building Aleph, which is uh, the mobility pavilion, will join uh, the sustainability pavilion. And then the Opportunity Pavilion, which is called the uh, uh, Mission Possible, will also join uh, the celebration and they will be opened in the next uh, very few months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will be like uh, Expo 2020 will be the event that uh, the entire world uh, will be waiting for in or after going through all the pandemic challenges and all the uh, how the uh, how the pandemic changed the world. And it will be the opportunity actually to meet everybody all the world under one place and solving all the problems including the pandemic issue and how the pandemic actually uh, united the world together because we had one challenge uh, that against the entire uh, uh, humanity that we all were uh, been fighting for so this expo 2020 will be like the the opportunity of all opportunities after all of this stress across the world to meet together to find solutions for the pandemic and other challenges facing the world.